morning, it's Sunday, 12th of July. I just want to show you this. Picking beans all week from sort of Monday onwards and putting them in water in a fridge. These carrots were harvested last Saturday. That's what, eight days ago. And they're still as good as ever. And the beans as well. They keep beautiful in water, in a container, in the refrigerator. Okay, I just thought I'd pass it on. Catch you later. Uh, it's still uh, still Sunday. I've uh, potted on five uh, snowball cauliflowers this morning and three more greyhound cabbages so we'll see how they go and we'll get the watering can out shortly and uh, give them a drink okay catch you later morning gorgeous oh, day it's just afternoon sorry um, I've taken the five light green tubs out today um, because when I, I had a delving a couple of weeks ago, there were a, a lot of scab on them, so I thought, well, they might as well come out. And uh, this is the result. Some a really bad scabbed up, and some uh, not so bad. But the lead is only skin deep, I'm told and they're safe to eat. Now I've come across these things. And this is something else I've never come across before so um, I'll have a look on the internet but if anybody knows what they are I'd appreciate it. There were some other grubs in as well that uh, were light in colour but they've already gone and the four that I took out of these earlier, they've already gone as well. Okay, catch you later. Morning, Wednesday the 15th of July. These are the potatoes that uh, I took out of the green tubs the other day. They've been in here since, drying up. They don't feel too bad now, I think the skins um, will probably have hardened up reasonably well so I'll see if I can dig a sack out and and put them in now apparently the scab is caused by uh, well not not helped by having uh, near enough a seven on the pH scale it needs to be 4.8 to 5.5 to uh, keep the scab away so I have two um, meters, uh, a four in one, which says that uh, water is between three and five on the pH scale, whereas the other one says it's just slightly under seven. So um, I think the more expensive one of the two, which cost about fifteen pounds, will be dumped. No good. All the calibrations are, are completely way off. And there's no way of altering it. Okay, we will catch you on the next one.